Okay, I just want to let you all know, this is what I've come up with. The problem was, I didn't have any place to put arrows when we were out shooting bow and arrow. We've got the rifle range set up here and a uh, bow and arrow range set up <clears throat> on our property. And I wanted to have a place where I could put our arrows in while without having to haul up a quiver up and uh, to the shooting area. So this is what I come up with. What I started out with was a bunch of PVC pipes and corners and stuff. I've had all this stuff right here for over three years upstairs in our uh, our spare room. And I had what I had done is I had made a clothes hanger rack for my son when he moved up into that room. And I just saw it the other day and thought, oh man, I could use that for something. Brought it downstairs and lo and behold today, this was two days ago. And today I thought, man, I can use that to make the arrow quiver thing. So that's what I came up with. And I'll show you how I did that. Okay. We've got uh, three inch and one inch pipes, one inch fittings. You can see that uh, those kind of fittings and then of course some tees. And you can, you can calculate how many I've got here. These uh, small ones are at uh, five eighths inches. There's two at five eighths. And there are two at three inches. There are four at three and one quarter inches. There are three at nine and uh, nine and one eighth. Two at uh, 13 and seven eighths. And four at 16 and let's say three quarters and then three three inch pipes now these are the really thin wall uh it's two and three uh, 20 and three eighths but you know that can vary depending on how tall you want those to be so even though i've gone ahead and i've already um designed this in my head i still keep screwing it up these are the uprights these two are the uh, the legs for your um, lean support. These three are the cross members that go across these pipes. Then you've got four of these that are the same length that go in between. Two of these actually go with these legs, these supporting legs. And these two are basic nipples to join they go together with one of these and basically create um, one of those pipes. So uh, I will uh, go ahead and start the assembly. I'm gonna go ahead and get the legs, the supporting leg out of the way because it uh, seems to be the one I can't seem to get straight. messing this one up in my head constantly. You know, this takes... Yeah, I went from, this goes like, like that. Well, I went and done this wrong. That's what it is. I think we got it now. Man, how many times I gotta put this together? Okay. This is one leg. Let's go ahead and build off of this. So I know that it's gonna require the two nipples on each side. And this We'll go down and across. That creates 
the top support or the top box end in. And these will take each take one of the small ones here, put one of these uh, just so that you know this is the three and a quarter. And one of these will go in here like this. And that creates I'm hammer this together. It should be the same width as this right here. top leaning part of the structure. And I just go all the way in. I don't know why. That would be why. Alright. Much better. Now we'll create the box at the bottom. Yeah, I know I shouldn't be pounding on my tabletop, but uh, that's all I have right now. And I'm not really hitting it that hard anyway. I'm hoping you can see this. until they brought them out and that actually creates that stand and now I'll just slide these these tubes down inside and these are going to be really tight because this is all the pipe I had and one of them happens to be a bevel edge a bellow edge so it is what it is It goes in pretty tight, and I will I will let them out. And there you go. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna put this at the bottom. This is gonna get screwed on the bottom right here. So I need to. be screwed on like this so that it's treated wood on the bottom and the arrows when you set the arrows inside they won't go into the dirt or to the ground or the concrete or whatever it is it's a, a decent soft and I'll, and I'll show you when I got it done and they were complete you can see on the bottom I got the treated wood and now I'll just load my arrows in perfect height for for bow and arrow all right well thanks for watching everybody appreciate it click on the subscribe and the like and share it with your neighbors